Hello. Today we're going to take a look at process mining within the Decisions platform. In front of us is a dashboard that was written for the underwriting group at the Agile Instrument Insurance Company. We can see some KPI tiles about the process in front of us that show some business metrics that were key to that group's success. We have a report here that shows all of the different submissions that are in flight. We also have our audit trail over here on the right hand side that are showing what state they've moved through, what they're waiting on, and who completed the last part of the process. Now, this submission system has been running for a number of months, and what we'd like to do is actually analyze it and see if it's working how we think it should, and see if there are potential bottlenecks that we can identify and fix. So to do that, we're going to swap over to the process mining system. This is what process mining looks like in decisions. You can see we have a, a different screen here that's showing boxes here. And each one of these boxes are the various states that this process can take along its path from start to end. We can see these green lines that it's automatically detecting, which will show you exactly how each one of these submissions progresses through the system. From state to state, we can see how long they take, how long they sit in various states, and then we can even see there's some branching here where sometimes the underwriter goes to the manager, but sometimes it goes directly to payment, and sometimes it comes over here directly to signature. Now, how our process was built, everything is supposed to fall a linear path from review to apply to underwriting, manager, payment, and signature. But we can see that that is not necessarily always the case. Now, from this view, we can also take and see an animated view of how the process actually executed with those submissions in real time. What I'll do is come down here and run it. And now what we'll see is the same view, but when I hit my play button, we're gonna see all these red submissions. Each one of these is a process that's being submitted and each one of these is an application going through the system. We can see very quickly that there's a bottleneck here. Things are sitting in the underwriter section a lot longer than we really think they should. So what we can do is pause this. We can come in here to this uh, state, double click on it, and see an overview of how long each one of the submissions took. We get a breakdown of the duration distribution for the activity. How long did they typically sit there? We can see the outliers. If we have defined SLAs, we can note them here and see that quick report and snapshot of how many fit within that SLA. But one thing I'd like to point out is if we look over here, we can notice that we have two folks that seem to take the brunt of the submissions in our underwriter state. So one of the things we could probably do to make this more efficient is add additional resources to this particular task. So armed with this information, we can actually swap back over to decisions and take a look at that process and edit it. As we do that, we'll come into our platform here, we'll navigate to our project, and we'll open up the approver table, which is where that decision is made. If we open that up, we'll notice that, ah, here's our two folks that are in that underwriting stage, and maybe what we need to do is just add additional resources. Well, in decisions, as you know, it's as simple as opening up one of our designers, adding another resource to the truth table here, hitting close and save, and now we've actually taken the data that we have from a process mining system and updated the project in real time. So now that next submission that goes through, the process has more resources assigned to it. So hopefully our bottlenecks will go down. The great thing about process mining is we can continue to monitor it throughout the duration of it running and continue to iterate on it based on new information that comes up as our process continues.